Yo, YouTube, welcome back to the channel. Uh, a few things I want to go over with y'all real quick. I see a lot of people on forums talking about how they've been rubber banding the head low FPS uh, on Battlefield 2042. I'm going to be able to show you all real quick how to fix that, how to resolve the issue. Ever since I've done this, I've gained roughly around 60 frames on the game. Um, I no longer rubber band. Uh, obviously, yeah, there's still some bugs that uh, DICE and EA has to work out. But as far as that goes, this this really helped uh, optimize the game and get the best FPS out of the game. So we're going to go ahead and jump straight into the video, guys. This is non-edited video, so we're going straight in to uh, showing you all how everything works. So here we go. First thing we want to do is we want to go straight our documents as you all can see you want to click on documents you want to scroll down you want to find battlefield 20 right there click on that you want to go to settings pro f save profile you want to click on that guys you want to open this up in notepad remember this so what you want to do is you want to scroll down through here I'll show you. It's going to be GST Render. So you're going to be on GTS Render. What you're going to look for is shadowing. Shadow quality right here, chat. Let me, let me make this screen bigger. GTS Shadow Quality right here. What that's going to do is when you open that up, it's going to show you as a value of two. What you need to do is turn that value into zero. So back, uh, erase that two. What you want to do is you want to put a zero in there. You want to go file, save. I, do, I usually do this a couple times just to make sure it's good. So what you want to do then, you want to close this completely out of your window. And then you want to go open up Battlefield 2042. So, when you open up Battlefield 2042, maybe, this is the best settings, and I would say anything from a 2060 Super, 2070 Super, 2080 Super, 2080 Ti, 3060, 3070, whatever. This is going to be the best settings you have to optimize this game, chat. So, our motion bar is on 27, our brightness is on 65. Field of view, no more than 90, because if you do go any more than 90, you're going to start getting a fishbowl look. See, my refresh rate's on 165. We're running at 1920 by 1080, blah, 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 blah. Um, chromatic abbreviation uh, off, film grain off. Everything, all your lens distortion, everything is going to be off. You're going to go into custom graphics quality. Texture, mine's going to be medium, medium, medium all the way down. Um, and uh, post-processing, you want that on low. Ambient occlusion, off. Dynamic resolution, scaling. DLS, DLSS, off. Ray tracing, off. NVIDIA, row, low reflex. Uh, reflex, low latency, off. Future frame rendering, off. Vertical sync, off. And fidelity objects, amounts. On low. I know this sounds like you got everything turned off, chat, but I promise you, you will pick up about 60, 50 to 60 frames. Uh, I went from a, we're holding around 60, 70 frames. I'm holding anywhere between 130. Sometimes we dip, uh, depending on where we're at, we'll dip down to about 120, uh, 115, back up to 130, 140. And that's pretty good uh, for the fact that they're using Unreal Engine 5. So, if you all don't uh, mind, watch the video. Try to optimize your settings using the, the steps that I give you here. Come back, let me know in the comments whether or not it helped your frame rate, whether it helped your rubber banding issue. I know it helped me, and I hope that this video is helpful to you all. If you all don't mind, guys, please hit that follow button. If you're on YouTube, watching it on YouTube, hit that subscribe button, guys. Leave me a comment. Let me know whether or not this helped your issue. Appreciate everybody, guys. I had to try to hurry up and get this video out that way. You all knew what you all needed to do before launch day on the 19th, guys. 
I'm really, really enjoying Battlefield right now, especially since I've got all this rubber banding issue lined out. And I know it's been a big issue, and DICE even came out and said it was on their side. But just lowering your settings just a little bit and not trying to play on Ultra is uh, the key thing. Like, this engine is really, really good at putting out shadows and stuff, so you don't need to run on Ultra. But be sure to go into those settings, change that shadowing over to zero, come in here, and like I said, I'm running the 3070, guys, and this is what I have everything on, and it looks amazing. It feels amazing. It's smooth. It feels like it should feel. So let me know in the comments whether or not it helps you out as far as optimizing and getting the best frame rate possible. I'll see you all next, baby. Don't let anyone dim me shine.